Good day, Father Matt Williams here in my parked car and it's snowing again. Go figure. Unbelievable. Okay. So the second Sunday of Lent, we hit upon uh, the transfiguration gospel when Jesus took Peter, James, and John up a high mountain. Uh, many people believe that mountain to be Mount Tabor. So it's a very, very high mountain in the Holy Land. And in the course of their time up there, Jesus was transfigured. In other words, the, the apostles saw Jesus in his glory. His divinity, which is veiled by his humanity, his divinity was shown forth in the most splendid of way. Jesus was arrayed in glory, and the apostles saw the glory of Jesus. And they heard the Father say, this is my beloved Son, listen to him. And Moses and Elijah were there symbolizing the Law and the prophet, Je Prophets. Jesus is the fulfillment of the Law and the Prophets, and the Law and the Prophets point to Jesus, and he fulfills them. He gives us the new Law of Grace. He is the fulfillment of all prophecies. Why was it important for the apostles and for us to experience the glory of Jesus and to hear about this story of the glory of Jesus, his transfiguration? Well, many things could be said. I'd like to focus on this. That in seeing Jesus in his glory reminds us of the glory that awaits us in heaven. You see, the Lord promises that those who live and believe in him will not die but have eternal life. And that we will shine, his children, the children of God will shine with the glory of God. We are reminded that our ultimate end is glory, is glory, is glory. And so Lent is a time for us in a very special way to dig deeply down to become the saints that God has created us to be, to live out the fullness of our baptismal calling, to die to ourselves so as to allow the Holy Spirit to live and reign in us. Lent is a time for us to reflect about what is our ultimate end and to allow Lent to become a means by which we seek to achieve our goal, which is the communion of saints. Where do you want to become the celebration of the sacred triduum, the paschal mystery, the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ? Where do you want to be on that Easter Sunday morning when you wake up? Begin with the end in mind. The transfiguration gives us a glimpse, a taste of the glory that awaits those who will live with Jesus in season and out of season. God bless you.